Hello everyone. Hello everyone. It is me again, Ben, or the Colonel. Uh, I'm still on with Griff. Hi, I'm still here. I'm still groaning and I'm still gasping. And <gasps> oh my God, that is a that is a huge yeah, um, you yeah, got he's there. Yeah, st he's still doing all that. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to build a supercharged fire a supercharged fire arrow launcher. Mm, sounds cool, doesn't it, Griff? Oh, it sounds so cool. I'm on the edge of my freaking seat. Okay, so you don't need to use smooth sandstone. I just do. And what you're going to do is you're going to build a 9 by 9 square with a hole in the middle. As uh, so. And what you need to do now is place another block here with a, a, a dispenser there. So what this does, this allows, that is where the arrows are going to be kept, uh, and they're going to be firing out this way. Now what makes it supercharged is that not only, um, well, sorry, no, what makes it a fire arrow launcher is a lava bucket. So we're going to be needing a lava bucket and a fence. doesn't matter what fence it is, because in the new 1.8 update there's lots of different fences. Uh, you're going to have to be quick about this, so we want the lava bucket there and a fence there. The fence obstructs the lava from coming out any further, but it also makes arrows not be able to shoot it. So we're just going to open the fence like that. So now there's this dispenser here, and this is what it should look like. Now to make it supercharged. So what How we do you make do... it supercharged, Ben? You, you really don't need to sound that cheesy, don't worry. This is sort of a, a But more... everybody at home is wondering the question and answer. Okay, whatever. So I'm going to be using wool for this, uh, for the different parts. So we're going to be needing to make a sort of a, a lightning shape, is it? I don't know. So two blocks What's down a lightning shape, and two ben? more blocks down like that. Whatever. I don't care, Griff. Um, and now what we're going to be needing is redstone here and here. And repeaters here and here, like that. The repeaters are on one tick delays. Not now, one tick delays. One tick delays. That that that, that is end. just that is the end of the world right there. Okay, whatever. Okay. So to make the circuit turn on and off, uh, we need a button, and the lava has. The lava has actually set fire to the gate. That's that's helpful, isn't it? Wow. Isn't that's... it just, Ben? That is... I didn't know lava could actually set fire to the gate. Um, so the gate is gone. No! Yeah. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to do an iron trapdoor. Uh, I didn't actually know it could... Why do you fire. need an iron trap door, Ben? You don't actually need an iron trap door. I'm just going to be using an iron trap door to make sure the lava doesn't come out. If Thank you for answering my question. I'm pretty sure everybody else was pondering at home. Okay. I'm only trying to be helpful. Oh, of course, with iron trap doors, you need a lever to activate them. <gasps> oh, sorry. <laughs> You're done? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm done. The guy so I'm just going to do a weighted pressure plate here, actually. That will be easier, because then the lava still won't be able to get out. I think. I hope. I am right. So, I can hear really cheesy music. Who, me? No, from the radio. Oh, right, from the radio. It's um, so cheesy, you think your ears are going to bleed. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Uh, and here's a bit more complicated bit. So we're going to take the sticky piston and we're going to put it facing up here. Now what we need to do is get some, I'm just going to use green ones just so you can see it better, see all the different parts better. And we're going to put a redstone repeater here and here, both facing outwards. Uh, both facing to the back, sorry. Both on one tick delays as well. And now, for the really hard part, we're going to put a button here. Blimey, that was difficult, wasn't it? 
So, now what we've got is all of this. It looks complicated, I know, but it does work really, really well. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pink wool and we're going to put a 2x2 two two block with two of the blocks up as shown. Make sure they're in that order, otherwise it won't work. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to get uh, another redstone repeater and place it facing that way, so towards the front um, of the of the wool, or on the wool. Yes, I won! Okay, and a redstone dust there. So it looks so complicated at the moment. I know it is meant to be redstone for dummies, but if you can get this right, it is super cool. Now what we're going to do you know, is someone place... someone once made a whole con in giant computer out of redstone in Minecraft. Yeah, I know. Uh, so now I won't be showing you that, don't worry. Ah, oh, the weather! Can't it... I know there's a command for weather, I just can't be bothered to set it. Um, so now uh, we place a sticky piston there. And yet again, another pink wool block there. Uh, as I say, it doesn't have to be pink wool, it can be anything you want. But this is just for instructional purposes only, because it looks easier to identify all the different parts. And that is done. Uh, so now all you need are the arrows. So I'm just going to take 64 arrows. And I'm going to make... What am I going to do? I'm going to get one of this and then of Ziz, and I'm going to make a target, because it's, I suppose, I say it's accurate, it's reasonably accurate, up to a certain distance, obviously. Um, so this is the target here, and we're going to let her rip. Oh, she, uh, okay, she let so, rip there. Yeah, the Quite target a is, is little uh, breeze we got going, good whiff. So the target obviously is a bit too far away, this is for more short range, but as you can see the arrows are flying out and we've actually run out. Um, what does this mean then? So that means we need more arrows. So that's how a supercharged fire arrow launcher works. Um, I, I suppose I could show you a simpler version of it in another episode. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you didn't find it too complicated. It is pretty complicated, I must admit. Uh, I'm sorry. But I will show you a simpler one in the next episode. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. But until sorry then, thank you very much for watching. Good night, or goodbye. Goodbye. Or, goodbye. or evening, or morning, or Whenever you are watching, watching this, this, goodbye.